Uh, the Russians continue their attacks in Severodonetsk, but are yet to take full control of the city. According to the Ukrainian general staff, uh, they're preparing an offensive against Slavyansk. However, as stated by the head of the Lugansk Regional Military Administration, uh, Sergei Haidai, uh, the Russians destroyed the city and chemical plants by the use of, among others, jet flamethrowers. In the Luhansk region, uh, the Russian forces attacked Vrubivka, entered the village of Orihove, south of Severodonetsk, and destroyed the infrastructure there. On Friday night, Russian soldiers used multi-lead missile launchers. Severodonetsk and Lishyhansk are the last Ukrainian-controlled cities in the Luhansk region that Russia wants to take over. Uh, the situation in the northwest of the city is now calmer than it used to be. It all started from here. Uh, the school was bombed with grad missiles. It's very difficult for us. Uh, most of the houses have burned down. Bullets flew from all sides. The Russians are still firing at nearby towns. However, uh, Ukrainian soldiers still control the chemical plants and the industrial zone. Uh, the head of the regional authorities, Pavlo Kirilenko, informed about the next casualties in the Donetsk region. Russia is killing civilians. On June 10th, uh, the Russians killed two civilians in the Donetsk region. Another seven people were injured. Currently, it's not possible to determine the exact number of victims in Mariupol and Vonovach. Russians will be punished for every crime on Ukrainian soil. The authorities of Mykolaiv uh, called on residents to leave the city due to another Russian shelling. It's totally not safe here. It's totally not safe here. Uh, someone dies every day, and I urge everyone to leave the city, move to other cities, or at least change neighborhoods. Change district. We come here for water once or twice a week because nobody in our neighborhood is interested in us. The situation is difficult. Uh, the prices have obviously increased. Now even a kilogram of potatoes is very expensive, but somehow we manage. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, in his morning speech again called for further supplies of weapons. Every day I repeat these names, Donetsk, Lishchansk, Bakhmut, Swoviansk, and many, many others. I repeat them in meetings with the military, in talks with diplomats and representatives of partner countries. Russia wants to destroy every city in the Donbass, every single one, like Volnovakha, like Mariupol. The Ukrainian military is doing everything in its power to stop the occupiers as much as possible, to the extent of the availability of heavy weapons, modern artillery, all the equipment we have asked for and continue to ask our partners for. In turn, the general staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine announced that from February 24th, the Russians lost, among others, over 32,000 soldiers, 1,419 tanks and 212 aircraft. According to the Ukraine Forum Agency, Ukrainian authorities have started talks with the representatives of private business and non-governmental organizations, including UNICEF, which may be involved in financing the reconstruction of the educational infrastructure damaged by the Russian military operations.